It's been a long road for these families. The first victim to be identified in 2009 was 52 year old Tanya Carmichael, who was found strangled with an electrical cord around her neck. Tanya's daughter, Donita Carmichael, walked out of the courtroom today clapping her hands over her head. Inside the courtroom, other family members cheered and applauded as Solwell was led away. Carmichael and other family members said they want to say thank you to this jury. And they did buy Solwell's so-called apology on the witness stand this week for a second. Yes, finally, finally, finally. Justice, justice, justice finally. Justice. We all happy. Justice. Everybody's happy. He's going to get what the hell he deserved. It's time. We happy. Thank you. What did you think of his apology? It was no apology. That's why I'm not going to even comment on it. It wasn't an apology. He got what he deserved. He was smiling when they brought him in here today. And that's why his going to die for what he did. Parker said he was sick in the mind. What do you think of that? He's not sick in the mind. He's not sick in the mind. He's very, very sane. Like everybody else, like the rest of us, justice has been served. What do you think of his apology? He didn't apologize. There wasn't no apology. He wasn't God. He shouldn't have killed them kids. What do you think of what the jury decided? I'm glad. I'm glad. We can get a peace. We can get peace.